So I have been doing a calorie deficit with the end goal of losing weight. Hi, I'm Adam. I've been a personal trainer for 10 years. Why don't we talk about some of your concerns? I truly don't think there's any way to do that without getting like at least a little sick in the head. Okay, what do you mean? Because when you're tracking calories, you have to be so meticulous because you don't even realize, you know, how big a difference there is like in calories between like, you know, a small versus a medium scoop of something. Well, it definitely can be pretty shocking when you're sort of faced with how many calories are in, say, a small bowl of cereal versus a large bowl. And I exercise a lot, um, but still, even then, I just don't feel like I'm allowed to eat an adult amount of food. You are. You absolutely are, especially if you're active. Bigger portion sizes are often a good idea because your body is going to need more energy. But at the same time, I don't want you to think of your food as tied to your exercise either. They are associated, but feeling like you have to earn your food through exercise can make that association complicated and disordered. I like to remind my clients to treat food and exercise as two separate things. I don't know how so many people are doing this or like going through weight loss transformations and like being happy and content after. Well, the truth is that weight loss doesn't always lead to happiness. That's something we don't talk about enough. Just because you lose weight doesn't automatically mean you start loving yourself. A lot of times we just find other things to be critical of. Learning to love yourself is a process that can and should start today, not once you reach a certain body size. I just don't see this leading anywhere positive when I'm using a half a teaspoon to measure peanut butter in the morning. If you're already concerned with the way this is making you feel, that's a red flag that I don't want you to ignore. Calorie counting can work for a lot of people, but it's not for everyone. And there are other ways to reach your weight loss goals that don't include a meticulous tally of every gram of rice you eat. I'm just so tired, but this is like the only way because I struggle with binging. And so I can't just listen to my body. You know what I mean? Like it has to be like this if I want something to change. I get your point, but what you're talking about is sort of at the other end of the spectrum. Again, that can work for some people, but intuitive eating isn't intuitive for a lot of people, especially people like you who have a history of binging. But a lot of people feel like you do, like the only two options are these two polar opposites, when the truth is there are a lot of other methods that might work better for you somewhere in the middle. I just don't know how to like, not cross into this boundary of being like so fucked in the head. It's not easy, that's for sure. It's gonna take practice and mindfulness and sometimes a lot of trial and error. But I have coaching options available in my bio and if you follow me, I promise that I'll help you navigate the difficult middle grounds and develop a better relationship with food and exercise.